Hi! Thank you so much for tuning in for your July 2017 Written in the Stars Terrascope. I'm super excited to deliver you the two readings that we always do, the story of your month followed by a fiercely focused spread to give you some action steps to take to make the best of your money, career, love life, health, etc. So this month there is something really exciting happening in the sky. It's called a Cardinal Grand Cross, meaning four planets are taking up four spaces in the cardinal signs of the zodiac, which are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So cardinal signs are initiative takers. This is a massive month to initiate action, to start doing what it is you want to do. But a word of caution, make sure that what you're fighting for is really what you want because there will be tendencies this month to just fight. There's some like Sun-Pluto oppositions going on, some really Mars-Pluto, oh, it's fireworks, but make them the good kind of fireworks. It is July after all. But you can read more about what that's doing for you personally at my blog writteninthestars.co. But now, without further ado, on to your reading. Hey, 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 my lovely Aquarians. How are y'all doing? Happy July. Super happy to have you. Thank you for coming. Excited to see what's ahead for you. If y'all have been here a while, you know by now I have a special love for Aquarians, so I'm excited particularly to see what's up for my Aquarian loves in July 2017. July, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. July 2017. Ooh, it's getting sexy. As I say that, I just notice like you can see like my naked shoulder. I promise I'm not naked. It's just strapless. It's Texas. <laughs> it's too hot for sleeves. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, July 2017. Aquarius, July 2017. Do you know it was 110 degrees where I lived last week? Oh shit, that was crazy. Aquarius, July 2017. Aquarius, July 2017. Okay. And if you haven't been here before, Aquarius, you will see me turn cards that come in upside down, right side up. I do not read cards um, as reversed, quote unquote. I'm an intuitive reader, so I listen to the messages that spirit gives me about the card um, in terms of words, images, symbols, um, but that definitely does not mean that I gloss over anything negative. Wow. <laughs> as if they're here to say, no, she tells the damn truth. I'm not here to gloss over anything negative. It's just a matter of, you know, different readers have different styles, and the way I receive changes and nuances in the meaning is not just by the fact that it comes in upside down. Okay. So I get some questions and comments about that usually, so I just want to make that clear. Okay. Aquarius. July. Doing some water bearing, I see. A lot of cup action for you this month. Aquarius, July 2017. Aquarius. Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know for their highest good this month? For their highest good. Aquarius sun, Aquarius moon, Aquarius rising. What do they need to know? Sorry. Wow. Looks like you got a bonus card tucked under there. All right, let's see. Wow, you got two. The big reveal. Wow. They kind of go together, don't they? All that white. Okay. So we're going to set these guys right here just to make sure we still incorporate them into your reading. Um, because I listen when spirit says you need a couple extra cards. I'm just the messenger. All right, Aquarius. So as I said to you, a lot of cups this month, a lot of emotions going through your mind, um, through your heart this month. I feel like a lot of it is so good. You know, it's like you've got so much love pouring into your life. You've got old friends, old lovers even, kind of coming in out of nowhere. These are general readings, of course, Aquarius. So I do get a lot of messages and some will resonate more than others. But my advice is always to listen to the essence of the message. So if I'm talking about a partnership and it doesn't sound like your love relationship, but it definitely sounds like your business or creative partner, then listen to that, okay? Okay, so I feel like for many of you, you've got people kind of coming out of the woodwork. 
like, hey, where have you been? I love you. Where, what are you doing? Let's go here. Let's do this. Um, let's exchange emails. Let's exchange numbers. We need to get back in touch. Um, I feel like a lot of you are celebrating in July. Like there might be a lot of marriages and parties and things like that this month. Um, I feel like you're surrounded by people lifting their glasses to you. Um, and for a lot of you, it's because people know that you're going on a new adventure. Some of you Aquarians, um, you've been grieving. You're grieving a situation that has ended. And, you know, you're kind of looking at these empty cups. And it's totally okay and normal for you to take time and mourn something that you lost. But Spirit wants you to know, Aquarius, that there are two full cups still here. A beautiful vine of grapes growing right behind you that when you're ready to take your head out of your hands and look around, there's a lot more to life than what's not working. Um, there's a lot more huh, coming in. You know, you've lost three cups. You've got six here. You've got ten here. You've got the queen here. You've got plenty, plenty of emotion, plenty of love um, coming into your life in July. Um, so I don't want to bypass that grief, you know, grieve. Um, I do feel like, you know, you've got three fives right here. And fives are about struggle. Fives are about transition and the fact that, like, there's disharmony and that there needs to be a little bit of, of balance brought in. And... As I say that, Spirit says this is why you needed a couple of extra cards. This judgment card needed to come in and say, you kind of need to make a decision not to live here anymore. Not to live in struggle. Um, what does that mean? What it does not mean is, hey, you need to stop you know, living in poverty. That's not what I'm talking about when I say stop living in struggle. I know that there are certain things that, you know, it's not a matter of flipping a switch. But here's the thing, Aquarius. You're a genius. You're a mad scientist. If anybody can run an experiment with their emotions or their resources and get amazing results, it's you. So what if you decided? What if you made the judgment that in order to come back to life, you couldn't stay here anymore? Struggling in the snow, going, you know, against the wind, like feeling like you lack, feeling like you're going without. It's time to go on a new adventure. Bam. That, that comes in hard. It's like, be the fool. Be the fool. Take all of this love and all these opening roads as an invitation, Aquarius. Like, there are better places for you to go. Um, it's time to leave the past behind. Go slow and steady. Slow and steady, Knight of Pentacles is here to say, you've got so much potential. You've got so many resources. You've got such a great, like when you want something, your work ethic is, you know, bar none, amazing. I feel like so many of you are moving toward a big breakthrough. And... I feel like it's like you're going to be honest with yourself and then victory comes in the external. It's a universal law, as above, so below, as within, so without. When you get straight on who you are, what you think, what your truth is, it's a lot easier to say, I'm drawing the line, motherfucker. Like, this is what I'm doing. I want to go here. I don't want to fight about this anymore. Uh, I'm ready to, like they said, bring harmony. Sixes are harmony. So you've got, yes, these fives, but you also have these beautiful sixes coming in to say, like, nope, we're here to bring things into balance. If some people have disappointed you, we're bringing people that want to give you love. If some people have left you feeling like you don't know what to do, we're sending you people who can give you good and loving and supportive advice. Many of you need to turn to, not need to, tarot's not fatalistic, you can make any choice that you want, you're loved unconditionally, forgiven unconditionally, doesn't matter. But what my prayer is always before we hop on and turn on the camera and do the reading is that whatever you hear, you know, difficult or easy, positive or negative, it is always and only for your highest good. And so that was why I was saying you need, you don't need, you would do, you would benefit from, let me say it that way, consulting with the Queen of Cups in your life. Who is it that springs to mind when I say that there is somebody very gentle and kind and compassionate 
and like intuitive to the point of empathic. Like she just knows what people feel. She may even be like it literally work in the healing arts. And it could be a he, I should, I should stop and say that uh, the court cards have nothing to do with gender. You could be a male queen of cups. You could be a female king. Um, it's more about personality types. And the queen of cups is a nurturer, a fosterer. Like it is in her interest. It makes her feel better when your heart is soothed and taken care of and when you feel like you have somebody who can help you reflect and understand. Um, she wants to give you compassionate uh, compassion. She wants to give you advice and assistance. And she can help you get clear with yourself. As much as she may be cups versus swords, which is like feelings versus thoughts, helping, you know, you rule thoughts. You are of the air element. You are like an ace of swords in yourself, in your mad scientist way. But when you get clear on your feelings, like that is not the realm that you are as familiar with. So she can help you kind of get clear on what you feel, what you intuit, what you sense about the situation on an intuitive level. And then you can fucking pull out your sword and cut through the crap and go forth. You know, when I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that for a lot of you, and these, again, these are general readings, Aquarius. So for some of you, it's like you're about to go into a creative competition. You're about to throw your hat in the ring and go out there and it's like publish the blog or start the videos or, you know, make, a, you know, do the art show, get into the competitive realm. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, you're going to go out and put your ideas and your thoughts and your decisions to the test. I feel like you get good stuff from doing that. I feel like... I feel like when you do it, things happen faster than you think. I feel like you think maybe... Some of you think it's going to be harder than it really is. And I feel like there's money coming in, there's generosity coming in for you. And... When you are given the opportunity to offer your generosity, Aquarius, take it. Um, it's going to come back to you. So if you get the opportunity to be kind, to extend a hand, it's like if you have it and can give it, give it and expect to be rewarded. Expect to be rewarded fast. Um, and what I'm hearing about that is also this, okay? When you clear something out of your life, whether it is like a physical thing, like, hey, you know what? I just bought a new TV. I could hang on to this old TV that is still perfectly good and I could just have an extra TV. You know, that's awesome. And this is how people, you know, get clutter in their lives. Or you could say, I'm going to sell this TV and get some money for it, slash, I'm going to donate this TV and somebody else will benefit, you know, like this friend of mine or this person I know who doesn't have one, I'm going to give it to them. And when you create a vacuum in your life, when you get rid of anything, like I said, it could be an example like that where it's a physical piece of clutter, or it could be like, this is not a functional, happy relationship. I really, as much as I love this person, I have to face that this is not working. I'm going to break up with this person, right? Okay, same situation where it's like, I could hold on to this. It's not like it's terrible. I just know it's not like the best. When you make room, Aquarius, you invite the best. It is a courageous thing to let go of something that feels comforting but is not good for you. Um, and when you do the courageous thing, the universe rewards you. And I should say um, that in my experience, and I have been doing this for over a couple decades now, in my experience, it is not often that one gets rid of a bad relationship and and you know, it's boom, like now replaced by a good relationship. I find it more often to be something like you got rid of a bad relationship and you got a tremendous job opportunity or a promotion or somebody invited you on a trip or sent you a gift or did something that feels like just the biggest, craziest out of nowhere nod from the universe that you've done the right thing. So don't be afraid to clear the way, Aquarius. Don't be afraid to clear the air to speak your peace, to throw it out if it's not working for you anymore, whatever it may be. When you bring things into balance, you welcome new momentum. Justice is here saying, make it fair, file the paperwork, sign, do the contract, do, do what it takes to bring fairness and balance to every situation that you're involved in, Aquarius. You're very smart. Um, you're very charming. You have a way of convincing others 
But if you make sure that everything is fair and straightforward this month, you will be rewarded for it. And I really feel that for a lot of you, Spirit just said, use the phrase social justice. So for some of you, it's like you have been vacillating on going out and putting your words out there and, and going up against the fight that it's going to bring, the backlash that it's going to bring when you go out and put your thoughts into the world. You know, we're in a very, we're in a schism right now. People are polarized and it doesn't mean that we don't need your voice. Like we need all of the smart and compassionate voices that we can get in the world. And when you seek to bring truth and balance and it's funny, spirit just drew me to the fact that you know, there's Holly and Ivy sitting in the crown on top of the Ace of Swords. And they represent the banishing of evil, the banishing of lies, the bringing of truth, the bringing of victory. And banish the lies, Aquarius. Tell the truth, bring things into balance, and tell the truth is the same thing as get rid of the shit in your life that you don't need and that isn't working for you. It's tell the truth about your life and tell the truth with your mouth as well. You know, put your money where your mouth is. When you do that, you open up a brilliant new chapter. You really, you decide that I'm done suffering for this. Like this was for no reason. I don't need to feel like I'm struggling every damn day. If I can just be who I really am, that lets go of the burden and that lets you run forward. It's like, okay, I'm about to get really nerdy, but like if you ever watch Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and they took off the weighted boots or the weighted vest, like I've been training in, you didn't know, like I've been training in like this thousand pound vest and now I took it off and can move faster and punch harder than you even knew. And you already thought I was badass. So prepare to be even more badass, Aquarius, all right? The more, except it's like ironically for you, the more you take off your armor, like, okay, wait, they, they just put that exactly the right way. My bad, sorry, spirit. Totally what they said. When you take off your armor, you're going to be stronger. All right? All right. Agreed. Okay, Aquarius, now let's look at what action steps would benefit you this month. What can you do when it comes to your health, your wealth, your love life, your creativity and spirituality? Let's just take a look. So if you haven't been here before, Aquarius, I start by choosing a card for a theme for your month. What you need, wow. To most know, do, be, or embody. Same card, different deck, judgment. Again, saying, bring yourself to life, Aquarius. Make the choice, make the decision that you know you need to make. Wow, 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 wow. This is huge, Aquarius. This is not like I'm switching from coffee to tea. This is like I'm getting married, I'm getting divorced, I'm gonna have a baby, I'm leaving this career, I'm starting this career, I'm leaving this business, I'm starting this business. This is like, life diverges when you make this choice. It could, it was going this way and now it's going to go this way. What's your choice, Aquarius? And if any of this is resonating like crazy and you want some assistance making that decision, Aquarius, my shop is linked in the description below. And if you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, I would totally dig that. Okay. Now that said, let's look at what Spirit is saying generally Aquarius can do when it comes to their money, their job, their resources to make the most of July. What does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know? Wow, love it. King of Pentacles. I know an Aquarius who is a King of Pentacles, so that is, of course, partially for him. Um, but also, you Aquarians, you're so savvy and you're so smart, and the thing is, not too many Aquarians give, give much of a shit about money. But if you do, boy oh boy, you're brilliant at making it. And if you do want money, Aquarius, this is a month where you can have it. You need to tune in to a mentor that is around you. Uh, court cards pop up because they are, yes, people in the external, like people in our life. Um, but they are also there because they're meant to invoke and evoke the qualities of that person within ourselves. So you've got a king of pentacles around you. Who is it? This person, again, remember, could be male or female. It's all about the fact that they're a king since they're a conqueror. Like they may be a business owner. They may be like a, a, a very self-piloted, like to the point where they work for themselves, even if it's like as a contractor or a consultant. Like, yes, I'm a client, you know, I have clients, but I work for me. Um, 
or it may just be like if they do have a regular job they have just amassed so much wealth and they kind of just seem to have a Midas touch like even if they are not rich this is the kind of person that if you give them a dollar they can make it into ten and that if you stole everything in their empire and, and left them naked in the street, tomorrow they would be clothed and rebuilding because the King of Pentacles always finds a way. Like I said, Midas touch. Who do you think of as somebody who it's like, when they put their mind to it, they can build something. They can create, they can foster, they can cultivate. That means you can, Aquarius. Like, yes, this person can definitely give you some good help and teach you some things, uh, but this is in you. This is in you for you to bring out. You can have more wealth by the end of July, even if it's only a few dollars at the, at the beginning. I mean, like, compound interest is a thing, Aquarius. Little beginnings can have big, big, big results. So be savvy. Be the boss of your money this month. If you don't have a budget, make one. If you have one, beef it up. Beef up your savings. Invest in yourself. Do what you can to build your empire. That's what really matters this month. Okay, build yourself up. I like it. All right, Aquarius. Now let's see what you're thinking. What's going on in your element? The element of air, thoughts, ideas. What does Aquarius need to know for their highest good in the month of July when it comes to the mental realm? Wow. Poof. Same card, different deck. Aquarius, when these cards stalk us, it's for a very good reason. Speak your truth, cut the crap, cut through the bullshit. That's what I just heard. <laughs> if you know it's bullshit, say so. You know, you don't have to say, this is bullshit, if it's to your boss. But you can say, that is not correct. That is not a reflection of the reality of the situation. Let me make it clear. This is what's really happening here. Don't be afraid to do that. Spirit just drew me to the six dancing flames around the base of the sword, which is an echo of the six of wands, which is victory. Victory comes to you when you banish the bullshit, when you, <laughs> Holly and the Ivy baby, banish the, banish, banish the evil of lies, banish the evil of um, hesitation, speak it, do it, take it, it's yours. Oof, all right. Okay, Aquarius, now let's look at the emotional realm. What are you feeling? What do you need to know about what you're feeling and experiencing emotionally in the month of July for your highest good, Aquarius? Highest good, Aquarius. Are you feeling, experiencing? Wow, how are you relating? Okay, I want to. Wow, okay. Okay. Ooh, don't scatter your energies, Aquarius. You have a lot of good ideas, a lot of good thoughts, but they're not all worth putting your energy into. And the other thing I'm feeling is a lot of you, a partner, a partner will be very beneficial in helping you make these ideas come true. So again, general readings. For, so for some of you, I'm feeling like the King of Pentacles is this partner. And for others of you, I'm feeling like not everything is worth your time and be very aware of who is worth your time because there could be a love match here for you. There could be a partner um, either waiting in the wings or something that is just beginning to grow that has a lot of potential. So, and what they said about that Aquarius is that for some of you it's like, don't let, don't let a good thing go by because you know, you're looking over here at everything else that could be. Um, that's not to say that you need to commit to one thing if you're not ready, but it is to say that if you don't commit, if you never feel ready, you are never going to, this will never grow past the stage that it's in. It, it requires your devotion and your focus and you channeling your energy into it if you want it to become more than what it is, which it has beautiful potential, but it's all about what you do with it, okay? All right, and finally, Aquarius, what's lighting you up? What's energizing and activating you in July? What does Aquarius most need to know about their spiritual, energetic, creative life in July 2017? Woo! All right, this is why they were saying focus, Aquarius. <laughs> this is why they're saying channel your energy. 
if you have too much on your mind, if you have too much, too many burdens, too many tasks, um, how can you ever reach your destination, which is here, which is close, if you can't even see it because you're so burdened? It may be time to put things down. This is why they're talking about, hey, get into partnership. Let somebody else give you some perspective. Let somebody else carry five of these ten wands with you, and you will get there twice as fast with twice as much energy still left to keep going. Um, don't put everything on your own shoulders, Aquarius. You are like the mad genius and the individual and the rebel with the cause of a zodiac. Um, and you do have a tendency to take things on solo. That feels natural to you, to be alone, to be, you know, singular. Um, but you can be unique and be supported. You can be creatively in charge and fired up and still share. Share the burden and the joy. Share the victory. Um, two heads are better than one, is what they're saying. It's like... Cut through the crap, lighten your load, take the help that's offered to you and give yours and you will feel so much more in balance and alive. It's like it almost won't matter that you're carrying so much if you know that you're carrying it A, for a good reason and toward a certain purpose and also with somebody or more than one somebody beside you um, that has the same devotion to the cause or to the relationship that you do. I feel like you're bringing yourself to life this month and you're really giving new life to a project or an idea, some of you. Of course, it all depends. It's like, do you want to do the work? But if you want something new, Aquarius, if you want new possibilities, but with a wonderful sense of support and security, it's out there for you, but you need to speak the truth. You need to take the initiative, make the choice, and then speak it into the world. Speak your power. Speak truth to power. Love it. That's your way, Aquarius. So I feel like it comes naturally. I like July for you, Aquarius. What do you think? Does this bring up questions? Is this like resonating in any way? Um, let me know below. I would love to hear from you, whether it's in the comments or like on email or in social media. All that stuff is linked below got all the things. Super love my Aquarian, so I'd love to hear what you think, my mad scientist. I hope this reading really helps you have a better month and that it serves you well, and I hope I see you in August. Bye, Aquarius.